Wow, I had a great run around Preptonus today. I better get back inside the house though before Kanye returns and knows I'm gone. <laughs> oh Kanye, it's you. How you doing? Pretty good, Squirrel. Just the usual adventure things, you know. What, like clicking a pretty basic boss in hopes of getting a cool drop, but in reality going very dry and not getting very good loot at all? Well, when you put it that way, Squirrel, it sounds kind of depressing. And in fact, I've had some decent luck on this account. Oh, sorry. Well, if you say so. It's okay. But anyway, there's something on my mind. Oh, really? What's that? Well, I was thinking, uh, how would you like to, you know, uh, be a different color? I beg your pardon? Oh, come on, I think you would look really cool with darker fur. That seems very odd, but do tell. Look, Darkmire has this cool area underground that has these dark acorns that can recolor you. Oh boy, I love acorns! Why didn't you say so sooner? Let's do it! Alright, so I've decided to finally go to Hallowed Sepulcher. I got my agility pet a long time ago, and I, f and I uh, want to get that dark acorn recolor. And plus, it's a pretty fun activity. I tried it for the first time during leagues. So, I'm currently making some mithril nails, because I'm going to use mithril nails and oak planks, because you need that for looting some of the coffins. Uh, and I'm already mostly set up here. Uh, I have a few things in, in death storage, but I got my looting bag mostly full of my valuable items, just in case I die. But it's pretty hard to die there honestly. All right, I just need a rope here, and that should be the mythical grapple made. That thing's always really annoying to make, not gonna lie. We're almost ready, but there actually is another really cool thing that'll help me out a lot at Sepulchre, especially as a UIM. Uh, yeah, hopefully I have enough points here, but I'm gonna buy a plank sack. Oh, I have plenty of points. Okay, good. I'm gonna buy a plank sack here, because this holds like, I think it's like 28 of each type of plank or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I can fill up a bunch of uh, oak planks in here so that way I, I don't have to keep going back and forth to uh, the sawmill all the time and I actually have a pretty convenient way of getting some oak planks I just come to the dig site here with my uh, mounted dig site pendant and uh, there's some oak trees and the sawmill right up here I guess I'll just buy a disposable axe uh, from Lumbridge like a steel axe uh, each time I have to do this as for my runes I have uh, house teleport runes and of course enchantment runes because that's something you need for uh, looting some of the coffins as well. I'm not gonna bother with getting vampire dust, because at first you need two vampire dust for each uh, of, of the brazier obstacle things. It's just like so annoying to get because you have to kill a vampire for each dust. And even if you get the upgraded uh, hallowed symbol, like it only requires one dust, but that's still extremely annoying. So I'm just gonna not bother with those at all. And yeah, look how great that is. All those just go into that plank sack there. All right, and let's have a quick look at Hespori real quick. Oh, also I have these uh, Hallowed Crystal Shards to teleport to there. I got those last video. Uh, I'm gonna be leaving these items in Hespori, so if I do die, I'll lose them. Um, the the suffering in Blowpipe is pretty bad, of course, but they're untradeable, so I can't put them in the looting bag, and I want as much space as possible here, because I am gonna get a little bit of loot, and it's gonna be very annoying. It should be extremely hard to die, uh, like pretty much once you get the hallowed ring, you don't take any damage from the sepulchre itself. Except for maybe a little poison damage, but it's not much anyway. And like the only way you can actually die is to to the... It's not really the sepulchre itself, but like the Virewatch sentinels outside. So just make sure you pray melee. Uh, yeah, and I should be fine to run through here. Like I, I would have to not pray melee and AFK or DC because it's uh, single way combat too. But yeah, I might as well just use these uh, shards in the future. Uh, here we are. It's actually pretty quick to get here. Not too bad at all. And I just remembered to pick up a lockpick as well. You need that to uh, give you an increased chance of looting the coffins, which give the uh, hell of marks. So if we look at the mysterious stranger here, uh, the main thing I'm after is this dark acorn, which is 3,000 hell of marks, which is quite a lot. And even though that costs a lot, I'm still going to go ahead and buy all the other things first because they, they're they just so beneficial. Especially the ring, which costs uh, 250 hallowed marks. So I'll be working my way towards that one. Uh, and I guess without further ado, let's just get right into it. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I, I definitely need to turn HD off because it just makes Sepulchre like way too laggy to even be playable. 
for this particular floor, I barely used any energy, but uh, you actually can activate this obelisk if you have a Ceridoman item, and it'll restore your energy to full. Oh, here's an example of the uh, brazier. This is where you need the vampire dust. Like I said, I'm not going to bring vampire dust there because it's just not worth it. It's just too annoying to get. All right, there's floor two completed already. Oh, and by the way, I failed to mention this, but I can go up to floor four currently. I can't do floor five because you need 92 agility and it's unboostable. But even just doing floor four, this should be the best XP in the game. No, I failed an obstacle for the first time. I guess I am a little rusty after all. Notice there was only two damage though. It's nothing too too bit big of a deal unless you just take if you just sit there like failing every obstacle back to back. Oh wow, that I don't know how that one hit me honestly. All right, this is like the end of floor three. This is definitely where the obstacles start to get a little hard. But you can actually do it in like two clicks. Most people don't realize that. Okay, well I failed that, but. <laughs> Basically, just get to the edge right here. Go all the way through here and just be mindful of this. And then just run all the way through. And yeah, pretty easy. Now, I actually haven't looted a coffin yet because it's pretty much just been either the grapple one, which is really slow, which I don't feel like doing right now. Or it's been the, um, the brazier, which I can't actually do without vampire dust. So hopefully I get a decent coffin here soon. Oh, here's an example of one I can do. I can actually just cast this um, enchant spell on here. Oh, apparently you can fail as well. There we go. It's actually a pretty quick one to do. Now let's see what the first loot is. Uh, it's just Hallow Marks, apparently. Oh, and some coins. 18k coins. Not bad. Oh, and as you can see here, there's a bridge on this other side. It's be there's multiple layouts you can get. It's like, um, it's random which one you get. For floor four, there's like two different layouts. And for, for the lower floors, there's like more layouts. I think for like the first two floors, there's like four different layouts. And again, here's a brazier, which I can't actually use because I don't have the uh, vampire dust. But, yep, I made it here in enough time. But unfortunately, I cannot continue since I... Uh, can't access floor 5 due to not having level 92 agility. But here's a big XP drop here. Nice big 2600 XP drop. Alright, I hate the grapple obstacle, but I, I apparently am not getting that many coffins on my runs. So I'm going to try the grapple a few times, but look how slow that is when you fail. That's why it's really bad before you get the hallowed grapple. Look at that. It's like a solid 5 seconds or so. Oh wow, I actually got blood runes. I think that's the high tier loot table, which is uh, very unlikely to hit on the first coffin. So I probably won't bother with this coffin very much. Oh, and you can also fail on the way coming back too, which is just hilarious. Here we go, finally, my first bridge repair obstacle. Now before you get the ha hallowed hammer, you can actually fail and uh, use multiple nails. But once you get the hallowed hammer, it'll just use five nails every time. Yeah, and that's a nice amount of construction XP there. Oh yeah, I just got poisoned. You can get poisoned, but look, it only does two poison damage, so that's not too big of a deal. Hey, Adamant Bolts. I'm actually going to keep the Adamant Bolts. Um, probably save them for, like, uh, necks or something. I've been thinking about that, because as a UIM, you have to think about what you're gonna, how you're going to use your loot in the future. Yeah, I might need to bring food, because I am taking a bit of damage here, but... Uh, you get food as a drop sometimes, so hopefully that'll happen soon. Hey, there we go. I got one monkfish. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of unlucky. I, I remember getting, like, five or so quite often in leagues. That's weird. Oh well, it's good enough. So I actually forgot to use the obelisk last floor, and I'm running out of energy now. So it probably is worth bringing, like, one stamina potion for situations like this. Uh, I think I'm almost done with this floor though, but yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, there's my first mysterious page. Uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but there's a 1 out of 10 chance of getting these from a coffin. And there's a different one for every floor. And this is the first floor one. 
in the main lobby there's actually a book you can put these in and it's just it's just like for lore that you read about that's really it but it is a collection log slot as you can see there so that's pretty cool I guess it's kind of fun to see the collection log numbers go up now that I'm back in the uh, sepulcher lobby I can just uh, investigate the skeleton over here to get the tome and the page will just be stored in there permanently Hey, there's the first decent high tier loot drop. I got a rune plate body, so that's pretty nice. That's like a 38k elk. So hopefully I'll make a lot of money here. As you can see, uh, my cash deck's pretty low. I didn't bring much money here, so that way I know like about how much I make throughout this grind. Well, I had to go get some more planks for the first time, and I just remembered to uh, get my agility pet, of course. Like, I can't believe I've been doing all this uh, agility without flexing my pet. You get unnoted Renars as a drop sometimes, so I figured whenever I need to get more planks, I'll just note the Renars. Uh, it's not too many right now, but eventually, I'm going to be here a while, it might be like hundreds, who knows. Plus, you get a bunch of Renar seeds as well, I just haven't gotten them yet. And uh, I might consider farming those as a break from Sepulchre. So obviously that would add to my Renar stack as well. Oh my god, I got a strange old lockpick. Hey! Now the great thing about that is it actually replaces the normal lockpick. Uh, it's just a better version of it. And then of course, its main use is that it unlocks any door at Barrows. So I'll probably keep at least one of these. Um, and maybe do a few Barrows runs after, because I do need to do uh, combat achievements at Barrows anyway, so yeah, cool. Hey, there's the first Renar seeds drop. That's cool, because of course Renars are good, but now that's going to be taking up an inventory space, unfortunately. Uh, I could go and plant them uh, when I get low on planks, though, since I'm not getting them very often. It's probably worth doing that, and since I have a stack of Renars already. Well, this felt like it took quite a lengthy amount of time, but I finally have over 250 hallowed marks which means I can buy the most expensive hallowed item here, the hallowed ring. And it's a no-brainer that that'll be my first item uh, because not only does it prevent you from taking damage from failing obstacles, but when you fail an obstacle, it also like teleports you back on the, the pathway like significantly faster. So it just, you know, it just speeds up everything. And it does count as a Ceradomen item, so I don't technically need this, this Ceradomen book anymore. Well, I just realized I hit over 100 Hallowed Marks, so it's time for my next upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna get the, the Hallowed Grapple. It makes it so you can't fail the Grapple Obstacles, and those have, like, the longest failure, like, animation. Like, I swear, it must be, like, a solid, like, four seconds or something. It is a very long time. All right, well, it's time for another upgrade. Um, I'm going to get the Hallowed Hammer because I still fail those construction obstacles quite a bit. And whenever you fail them, you have to use extra nails. So this makes it so I only have to use five nails for those obstacles. There we go, Hallowed Hammer. I probably should have just brought a regular hammer instead of the Imcomdo one because now I have to keep this in my inventory until it's time for me to go like bag some loot. Hey, I actually just got my second uh, Strange Old Lockpick. I uh, missed the recording there. Uh, but that's kind of cool, I guess. But I'm not going to be keeping it. I'm just going to alk it. I think it alks for like 20k. I don't really want to keep more than one of them. I don't really have much space. And I don't, I don't really plan on camping Barrows for very long. Hey, there's level uh, 88 Agility. Uh, <laughs> it's the first level of this video. It's pretty crazy, like, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying Sepulchre a lot, and I've been here a while, but, like, man, the XP is so slow. I guess at the end of the day, it is agility, and it is one of the slowest uh, skills in the game. All right, I got another 100 marks, which means it's time for another upgrade. And uh, next, I'm going to choose the Hallowed Focus. It means you can never fail one of the enchant spells on the Conjuring the Portals, which I don't fail it very often anyway, but... It's just nice to uh, never fail it. And I think it also saves one tick as well. Yeah, let's get that Hallowed Focus. And that'll take uh, the place of my shield slot. And it's time for some uh, more upgrades here. Uh, actually, I'm probably not going to end up using this thing, but uh, might as well go ahead and unlock the Hallowed Symbol. It makes it so you need one Vampire Dust instead of two for the Braziers. Um, I kind of don't even want to bother wearing it, because I'd rather use my uh, Dracon's Medallion. 
anyway for teleports in the, in the future. Yeah, I'll probably just keep it stored here, the Mysterious Stranger, because it doesn't currently provide me any benefit anyway uh, if I'm not looting those things. And then also, I might as well just go ahead and buy a Hallow token for the uh, collection log. It adds one minute to the timer, but I definitely don't need this on floors 1 through 4. I'll probably need to use some of these uh, at floor 5, because a few mess-ups in floor 5 can cause you to run out of time. So they're pretty helpful, so that way you can still loot the Grand Coffin. Yeah, go ahead and store that there as well. So if we look at the collection log here, we have everything besides the ring, the Dark Acorn, the Dark Die, and the Page 5. And I can't even get the ring or the page 5 until I'm 92 agility. Um, and maybe I'll, maybe I'll get Dark Graves in the future, I'm not sure. But for now, it's time for the real grind for the acorn, which is 3,000 marks. Hey, there's level 89 agility. That does unlock the hard Revenant Cave shortcut, which is actually very useful for escaping PK. It's obviously been a while since my last clip. These levels take forever. Uh, yep, only about 500k till the next level, and here's how many marks we have. Finally, there's level 90 agility. That is such a huge level. It unlocks the Ardoin course. Oh, it's also total level 2125. That's another cool milestone. Ardy is the best way for me to get marks to grace now. I think it's like 25 per hour. And Relica was like 16 per hour, maybe? So, I think I might take a break there and get some more Graceful pieces, because I do want at least one more set of Graceful. Maybe two. Like, I'm really thinking about the Black Graceful and the Brimhaven Graceful, because I really like those colors a lot. There's my updated marks here, 1700. Well, now that I'm level 90 agility, I can do the Ardoin Rooftop Course. And this is a pretty chill course, and like I said earlier, it's the best marks of Grace. And I do want to get more graceful sets anyway, so I might as well try out this course for a little bit. I can always just get enough marks to store one piece of graceful in my house and then go back to Sepulchre. But of course, ideally, I would do this course uh, until 92 and then do Sepulchre at 92 because you get significantly more of the hallowed marks from Sepulchre once you can access the fifth floor at level 92. We'll see how I like this course, because, like, it is nice, because I can, like, m probably edit some videos while doing this course. Um, but it's probably going to seem really boring compared to Sepulchre, because, honestly, Sepulchre is such a really nice piece of skilling content. Probably the best piece of skilling content in the game. Alright, and there is 230 marks of grace. That is actually all I need for another full graceful outfit, because previously I had already... Use 30 marks to buy some graceful gloves, and I have them stored over here in my uh, costume room. Yeah, see, I have the gloves right there. Of course, I can't take them out yet, but that'll all change in a bit here once I buy the rest of this outfit. Alright, let's be very careful not to mess this up. So let's buy one of everything except for the gloves. And the boots... And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and store the rest of these graceful pieces in my house. And look at that. That's nice. A full, normal graceful set. It's actually been a while since I've worn this. I'm going to be recoloring this, of course. I don't really like the default color that much. Uh, I'm debating between the Brimhaven Dark Blue and the uh, Hallowed. And uh, either way, I don't need any more Marks of Grace for those. And since I don't have Aventos... Uh, it wouldn't really do me any good to get Amylase from the Marks of Grace, so I'm just going to go back to Sepulchre now, because uh, it's still uh, really efficient. Agility XP, I think it's, even with looting, it's about the same as Artie. Of course, it's a little bit more uh, focused, but because it's more focused, I'd probably get better XP rates there, if that makes sense. Anyway, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and head back to uh, Sepulchre, and we got an agility level coming in pretty shortly, too. Hey, and there's level 91 agility. Uh, it kind of sucks that apparently Sepulchre just auto-closes the chat window. Uh, but yeah, it unlocks the Vyeldi Caves uh, cliff climb, which is nice when you do get that annoying Master Clue step. But it really, that, that particular shortcut doesn't actually save you that much time. Well, this is a very important lap here. As you can see in my inventory, I have over 3,000 marks, which is enough to get the Dark Acorn. But also, from this lap, 
I get 92 agility, which means I have finally unlocked floor five of the Hallowed Sepulcher, which is significantly more difficult content, significantly more XP, and uh, significantly more marks per hour, which is good because the next thing and final thing I want to go for is to get uh, six dark dyes to make the black graceful. And since I have a full graceful set in my house now, the only thing I have to worry about is getting 1800 more marks for the dark dyes. And it'll be much quicker now that I'm 92 agility. But first things first, let's go ahead and buy this dark acorn for 3,000 hallowed marks. It has been a while. There we go. Collection log slot. Dark acorn. Come on, pet. Where are you? There you go. Let's call it over. Let's use a dark acorn on it. And it's a one-time use. The squirrel eats it. And uh, I can go back and forth whenever I want to. It's been such a long grind. It's crazy how some of the pet metamorphoses take so much longer than others. For instance, the rock golem pet, which I got not too long ago, only requires you to use an ore on it to recolor it, whereas this pet requires hours and hours and hours of sepulcher to recolor. All right, here's the end of floor four. Uh, this is kind of weird. I'm used to just exiting from here, but it's time to go to floor five now. And the way Hallow's Sepulchre works is you get two minutes per floor to loot any of the coffins there. If the two minutes is up, you can still finish the floor for XP, but you can't loot the coffins. It also rolls over between floors if you have any left over. I have two minutes and 52 seconds left, so when I start floor five, that means I'll have a total of four minutes and 52 seconds. So uh, let's get started. There's really not much pressure here. You know, I don't, I don't expect to like pass so this one I do know is it's much quicker. Like it's instead of three ticks, it's only two. Like look how much quicker the fires go out there. And then this one is a blue sword, so it runs it goes very fast, so you have to actually catch a blue teleporter or you get hit, I believe. Like that. Um I think I'm fine, yeah. Ooh, just barely though. And then this is it's always three coffins. The first one's the portal. The next one's the grapple, the last one is the bridge, and then of course the, the Grand Hallowed Coffin. And of course these are a really good chance for the high tier loot tables. And this is similar to uh, Floor 4, it's nothing crazy. I'm a tick late I believe. No I'm not. I messed that up a little bit. No I didn't. Okay, I'm a little unconfident. I'm honestly surprised. I was expecting to fail at least one of those obstacles by now. If I don't fail, then I have plenty of time. But, oh my god, the, the third, uh, what's that? The second chest on floor five is the fifth mysterious page. So I'm done with all those. That's actually huge, like they say. Oh, well, okay, ignore that. Only two, I think it's only two obstacles left. This... You gotta dodge some lightning and stuff, and then the most notorious obstacle at the very end. You gotta dodge bellows, lightning, darts. Uh, yeah, all of that at the same time. So it gets pretty intense, not gonna lie. I think this is enough time to loot this chest here and loot the Grand Hallow Coffin. Oh my god, two Renar Seeds and Law Runes? I guess you get two rolls? Oh, that's huge. Oh, hopefully I make it in time. Hopefully I didn't just troll myself. First Grand Hallowed Coffin on this account. 9 Hallow Marks and 177 Runite Bolts. 5850 XP. Probably need to bring a stamina potion at least for now because I am making a few mistakes and it's kind of causing me to like uh, use most of my run energy. Like, as you can see, there I have 14 energy left. Like, that's pretty close. If I had made like another mistake, I would just be out of run energy completely. Uh, luckily, I do have my noted stamina's with me, so yeah, I'll probably bring one stamina pot with me for now and uh, see how that goes. All right, another grand hallowed coffin, and ooh, pretty decent loot there, and I think another personal best, maybe? Seemed pretty quick. Yeah, overall time, 8 minutes and 10 seconds, and that's with looting, uh, 
one coffin in floor four and all of them on floor five. All right, probably another PB. Yep, 750. <laughs> I'm just getting faster and faster, and there's still a few things I can improve on. Oh, and the one annoying part, honestly, about this is now, since floor five has the same layout all the time, it's always going to use two planks, and then, like, half the time, floor four uses two planks, so... I'm gonna have to leave to get more planks uh, a lot more often now. Here we go, another Grand Hallowed Coffin. I actually failed my last run, which is really sad. Um, it was genuinely due to lag, though. Like, I've been lagging really hard for some reason today. Uh, but anyway, more importantly... That is level 93 Agility. Which actually unlocks this new shortcut to the True Blood Altar. Which is apparently a really good way to uh, craft blood runes, which was released not too long ago with the Guardians of the Rift minigame. Alright, this is my last Grand Hallowed Coffin for a long while, because as you can see by the marks my inventory, I have over 1800, which is enough to buy all of the Black Graceful pieces. So, uh, there's no real reason for me to stay here anymore. Well, other than agility XP, of course. <laughs> uh, I, I believe I was about halfway through level 87, and now I'm a little ways then to 93. So it's been a few million XP, and it's been like t over two weeks in real time, maybe. Um, of course, YouTube magic, it, you know, it only seems like a few minutes, but it has been a very long time. All right, so the max possible should be six. And of course, that's the collection log slot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it's six dies. Let's start recoloring everything. And looks like that's the last one. Oh yeah, baby, that looks good. But yeah, this is a pretty nice graceful. This will probably be my default graceful for a while. And uh, where's my pet? There we go. Sepulchre is almost completed. Just needed that ring, but unfortunately uh, did not get it. In the small amount of KC I did, uh, it was 66 Grand Hello Coffins, by the way. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I think that's enough for this video. I had a lot of fun with this video, and um, yeah, I may have done a lot of skilling, but this is a lot of this is kind of like PVM prep in a way. As you can see, I have so many Renars, and I have all these Renar seeds left as well. So that's really nice for PVM. So if you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you would leave a like or a subscription. It really does help the channel out a lot. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.